Hello everyone, this is Winfred Crutcher with the Crutcher Financial. Uh, we appreciate you uh, being with us today. Uh, it's a very beautiful day outside. The sun is shining and uh, God's beautiful earth looks so beautiful out there. We hope that you're having a, a super fantastic day and we appreciate you, you subscribing, appreciate your comments, appreciate your support as we continue to grow our channel, uh, the Crutcher Financial. And we appreciate everything that you've, you've done uh, to this point. But as we was doing a little analytical study of our channel, we found out that the number of our viewers don't correspond with the number of our subscribers. And, and believe me, we appreciate your viewing, but uh, your subscription is the utmost importance for us because I'm sure you would agree with me that uh, I feel as though we're bringing great value uh, to you. And, and I think uh, in return, you would bring uh, great value to me by liking and subscribing. So, so if you have not subscribed, even though you're viewing, please subscribe, please like our videos. Again, we appreciate your support and we thank you for all that you are doing. And, 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 and so we're going to continue to go forward. Uh, this is going to be a two part video, uh, part one, of course, and a part two. And we're going to talk about credit profile, credit profile and days ago, I don't know if some of you saw, uh, I done a 13 second video and it was talking about how good is your credit profile. And it has the, uh, the, uh, the credit ratings there, 300 is poor all the way up to 900, which is excellent. And so also there, we had a, a number of small thumbnail photos. Uh, we had good credit and bad credit and on the credit report, bad, the bad credit was a score of 520 and the good credit was a score of 780. And also you see on the side of uh, the good credit just ahead, there's two uh, different thumbnails also, a family and, and two families and uh, looking at their credit report and seems to be smiling because apparently they've gotten things to the point that that's good, that's good credit just ahead. So that's what we want for you. We want you to have the best credit that you can have. And, and believe me, I really believe uh, that if you continue to uh, grow with me uh, on this channel, you're going to find yourself being in one of the most better financial stable uh, situations that you've been before. So we appreciate you again and our, our desire and our passion is to help you to grow financially, help you to be better financially educated, help you to be better literate as it relates to finance. Again, we ask you if you could or would to invite your family members in, uh, teenagers, young adults, uh, uh, and we really think that this would be, well, the fact is we know studies have shown this, that the more financial stable a family is, the better the success rating of that uh, uh, family, uh, not only that family, uh, 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 that grouping of individuals. So again, we thank you uh, for being with us. Let us go forward and get our video going. This is part one. The term credit is used in several ways. I looked up a uh, definition of credit and I thought it was pretty suitable. Credit is the ability of a customer to obtain goods, or services before payment, good or services before payment, based on trust. And that's the key word in, 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 in you attaining credit. The trust that the lender has that, that you're gonna pay back and the trust that you have uh, for the lender that he would loan, they would loan you the funds that you need to uh, attain what you're trying to attain. So there's a great deal of trust there that we must have with each other that payment will be made in the future. And when we don't make those payments, we break the trust uh, with our lenders. And also we just, we, 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 we break a number of trusts because it, it, it hampers us uh, from future purchases or future loans or uh, future attainment of, of finances. And, and in America, it's so important, not only in America, worldwide, it's so important that uh, individuals have good credit because that's one of the only ways that they can ever obtain the lifestyles that they desire. So it's credit history. This is what the credit is used. This is what credit 
the way credit is looked at. Credit history, credit score, credit report, credit bureaus, and credit profile. And we're going to hit on all of these in the upcoming video. Okay, how about on credit works? How about on credit works? A lot of times we probably have uh, uh, made purchases and we didn't understand the dynamics as it relates to how credit works. And so we have this graphic here and I think it's very, very informative and I think you can clearly understand it. You, that being me, us, or whoever that obtained the credit, you make a purchase on credit. Right now, no cash is being exchanged. You're making a purchase on credit through the lender. The lender has loaned you this, this money so you can make these purchases. And then the lender, what it does, uh, it makes the payment to the merchant. The merchant might be a, a mortgage company, a automobile a business, or whatever you, you made a purchase on credit from, the lender makes the payment to the merchant. And then after the lender has done that, we're getting back to the trust factor. After the lender has done that, then you, with the agreed, uh, you made the agreement you made with the lender, you're going to make the payment plus interest at, to the lender. Now, when you don't make the payment plus interest, you put the lender in a bad position as well as yourself. So this is how credit works. You make purchase on credit. The lender makes the payment to the merchant. You pay make payments plus interest to the to the lender. There's three major credit bureaus, and I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with these. That's Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion and Equifax. These are the three major credit bureaus that lenders use. Credit terms defined. First thing you're going to be looked at is your credit history. It's information how you have managed debt. And this is very important. I hope you're really listening and, and taking all this in. It's information how you have managed it. All this uh, has a bearing on uh, future uh, financial help from a lender, uh, from a company that's going to afford you credit. And as we go on in the video, we'll, you'll, we'll get a little bit more deeper into that. Credit bureaus, three we just talked about, which each has a kind of a different rating system, but it's basically the same thing. Credit bureaus are companies that collect information about your debt. Companies that collect information about your debt. In other words, these three major credit unions kind of know all everything about how you made your payments, how you uh, uh, took care of business, uh, uh, and how you have also kept that trust factor with your lender. Then you have the credit score. It's a numerical representation of your credit worthiness. Some go from 300, which is poor, then you have fair, good, and 900 is excellent. Like I said, uh, each company kind of have a different way of how they do the rating, but it is a numerical representation that they use. And then this forms the credit report. It's a summary of your credit history and scores. A summary of your credit history and scores. After all of these first four, first three are taken care of, your credit report is formed. Okay, we want to look at credit profile. Credit profile. Let's look at this graphic here. I'm going to give you a, a few seconds to kind of look at this a little bit and, and uh, before we kind of delve into it. Credit can affect several areas of your life. You remember in, in the psychology of money, how we talked about some of these things or how money affects you psychologically. So credit, being a part of how money is attained, can affect several areas of your life. Job application, you might have heard me say this before, but years ago, this was one thing that was not uh, 
even on that application was your credit report. But now it affects you in, in, in getting the best job. Uh, you might Again, you might have the best qualification, but you might have a terrible credit rating. And the company you work for must, might deal with uh, situations that require that their employees have good uh, credit ratings. And this is another one so important. <clears throat> It hampers your access to capital. Sometimes individuals uh, might think there are some uh, 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 underlying factors why you can't attain capital. But the number one reason that you can't attain capital is the fact that your credit is not in the best standard. So no one, again, is going to uh, loan you money or going to give you the opportunity if they know that you're not credit worthiness. It also, when you do get access to capital, it affects your the long terms, the interest rate is probably going to be sky high. <clears throat> it's going to be stretched out or shortened. Uh, so there's a number of things uh, that how credit can affect uh, areas of your life. Your home. Let's look at our home. You know, you can, it can bring turmoil within the family, uh, husband and wife, children, uh, because of maybe the inability to have the things they want to have. So it's a lot of things go into it. Goes into it. Uh, having not good credit, and then the emotions, and we talked about that. It 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 it, it, it kind of puts a damper on life altogether. So it's so important as we uh, keep uh, emphasizing that you do all you can to maintain a good credit rating. <clears throat> Excuse me while I take a drink of water. Thank you. <clears throat> Good credit. Good credit. Something we love to hear. Good credit. Good credit translates to what? Better loan terms. We just talked about loan. Better loan terms. It, 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 the interest rates are better. The, the time to make payments are better. So good credit translates to so much that is positive. Lower interest rate and lower payments. This is the desire of everyone who... Uh, uh, attain finances or attain credit. Low interest rate. Now all this have to ha all this happen when you have good credit. Lower interest rate and lower payments. And it also give you more loan options. You know you you could go to this bank or that bank or you can shop shop around. But when when you don't have a good credit, and I said this before, and I know people are in business to make money because this is America, but uh, this keeps you from having to go to payday lenders or uh, uh, the, the lenders that charge exorbitant fees. So good credit helps you to save money all the way around. And it also builds uh, uh, an emotional mindset that will carry you, carry you through. So good credit translates to everything that is positive. And that's why we, again, keep hampering on this because we want you to have the best uh, life that's affordable to you. Now, consequently, uh, bad credit translates to what? Limited loan options, the total opposite of what we just talked about. Higher interest rate and higher payments. Larger down payments requirement. That last one is very, uh, sometimes I'm sure that a number of us have uh, Wanted to buy, purchase a home or something, and and the lender looks at our uh, uh, anything, uh, automobile and uh, anything that we might want to purchase. And the lender looks at our uh, credit history, and he said, "Well, he, he or she said, well, you know, we're gonna uh, have to require a larger down payment. So uh, this is one of the things that big bad credit uh, hurts you with because if you don't can't make the larger down payment." then you might not be able to attain what you're trying to purchase. So that's why it's so great and so good to really keep a check on our credit. Now let's look at the sources of negative credit. All these are kind of repetitious in a, in a way, but they all keep hammering the fact. Poor repayment history with missed or late payments. This has a negative effect on your credit. Amount O is too high in relation to income. Uh, basis, it says what it says. You have your money is not uh, enough to take care 
all the amounts that you owe. So this has a, a, a negative credit effect. Length of credit is too short. This sometimes happens with people who just started out uh, and they have really not gotten into bad credit or anything. They just started out and uh, maybe not have enough credit of the, the, the length of the credit they, they do have or did have uh, was very short. Credit inquiries from applying for too many accounts. And I think a lot of times this has really come to come to be noted by a lot of individuals. Uh, a lot of inquiries, is, it, it, it takes your credit rating down and it, 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 it makes it, has a negative impact. So the, the less amount, the least amount of credit inquiries you have is very beneficial to you. That's why it's good to, some, to research uh, the companies. And a lot of times before you, the, the inquiries are made, you already know kind of that uh, you're not going to get that. So if you can uh, limit the credit inquiries, that will also help your credit rating. Credit mix is not well balanced across account types. You know, account types have mortgage, credit card. This is, this is a, what is called a credit mix. And it says if it's not well balanced across account types, then it's going to hinder your uh, credit rating also. So you want to have a well-balanced credit mix, uh, mortgage, automobile, whatever the case may be. And it's very important that it is balanced. Now we're going to get a little bit into understanding your credit profile. A lot of us, we just don't uh, understand or don't know, and that's why uh, I have this passion about what I'm doing. It's just a lot of us just don't know how this system works. And we don't really even understand our credit profile. We, uh, all the time, only thing we understand is when we go try to obtain uh, credit, or uh, uh, obtain credit, we find out that uh, our profile is, 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 is not maybe as good as we thought it was. And so we're gonna uh, kind of delve into understanding our credit profile. Okay, here's how the credit bureaus produce reports. Again, you have the TransUnion, you have Equifax, and you have Experience. And where they get their, their uh, information from is from FICO, that's Fair Isaac Company, and Vantage Score. Vantage Score is not used as much as FICO, but they're both uh, used by uh, credit bureaus to uh, come up with your credit report even though FICO is more widely used. FICO uh, do analytics from a four to five day standpoint, whereas Vantage School an anal analysis is deals with mainly 14 days. So we can see how kind of uh, uh, expansive that FICO is uh, when it comes to producing reports. So the three major credit unions, credit bureaus, excuse me, credit bureaus, not credit unions, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experience. They use the reports of FICO and Vantage Score. Now we're going to look at what credit reports include. Credit reports include the following information about each account. Now each account is handled individually within your credit report. It looks at the date that is open the type of account, installment, risk revolving installment, payments are like house payment, revolving uh, uh, accounts are like credit cards and things that the, the, the definition of installment and revolving uh, tells you exactly what kind of account you have. Okay, then you have the joint or individual. Uh, this is important uh, because sometimes when you have a joint account, one individual may have a better credit rating than the other individuals. So this is something we want to take a look at when we uh, have a joint uh, account. So this is one of the information that is used is by joint or individual. Then look at the balance of the account. How much you owe? When the last payments was made? Any past due information? So it's, it's it covers a gamut of, of everything as it relates to your credit. And then it looks at your credit limit. Then it looks at additional terms. Then it looks at the account status. Is it current? 
Is it open? Is it closed? Is it, is, is it a charge off? Uh, was anything sent for collection? So everything you do in your credit life is reported and is noted by FICO Advantage, which the credit bureaus get their information from. Credit score calculation are determined by, again, we just spoke about these two, Fair Isaac Corporation. Fair Isaac is normally called FICO or FICO, however you want to pronounce it. Now notice the difference here. It's independent from the bureaus. These are companies that stand alone. They're not, they're not a part of, 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 of the credit bureaus. This is a company that does independent analytical study. Now Vantage Score, according to this, is a joint venture among the bureaus. So it's kind of a part of the credit bureaus uh, to uh, help, help gather information as it relates to you obtaining credit. So again, I said Fair Isaac is used more so than Vantage Score. And most of the time you probably will uh, have Fair Isaac doing the analytical research on your account. They both have grading systems. And we're gonna look at it, just see in the middle, FICO Credit Score Evaluation. And we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna go, I'm sitting in front of my monitor, uh, uh, I'm right-handed, but we're gonna start from the left. So 10% of your credit score evaluation is the type of credit that you have. Then 10% is new credit accounts. All this make up your grading system. 15% length of credit history. 30%, which is green. And you know, notice the color of the, uh, the circle here. Green is 30 amount old. And 35%, which is in the red, is your payment history. So 35% out of 100% deals with how did you, how well did you make your payments? So this shows how important it is to have a stated payment history, have a good payment history, because it, this is what drags down your credit rating. The amount you owe, payment history, type of credit, a new credit account, and length of credit history. So all these uh, have plays a factor in how your credit rating uh, is reached. Then you have the Vantage Score grading system. 3% is available credit, 5% is new credit accounts, 11% is amount owed, 20% is credit utilization, 21% is length of credit history and types of credit. And again, with this, 40% deals with payment history. So again, you see how important it is that our credit history be uh, up to par. We're getting, we're getting close to uh, the end of this uh, portion of our dealing with our credit profile. And again, we wanna ask you to please uh, not only view but to like and to subscribe and and we appreciate uh, you again for everything you're doing as you're helping me to build my channel and i really uh, since your desires to really bring value to your life and i believe that you feel that and i hope that you're uh, getting that experience from me okay let's look at the credit score ranges look at the fico we look at advantage we'll we'll really we'll look more at fico you see where the, the ratings are, the score ranges. 300 to 579 is considered as poor. I want you to look at this. We already went over all the factors that comes to getting us to our credit score. Make sure our payments on time, the amount of credit we have, how, 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 how in debt we are. So we're seeing now uh, the, the culmination of what brings our credit score ranges to where they are. Again, poor is 300 
to 579. Fair is 580 to 669. Good is 670, 739. Very good is 740 to 799. Then we have exceptional, 800 to 850. And most Americans have good, but it's very possible. It's not impossible to have an exceptional credit score. It, as I've given you information on what all goes into it. Uh, and so these are the ranges. The FICO ranges are used more than the Vantage, so we won't look at the Vantage so much, but you can see them on yourself when you look at the video. I'll come back to another look at it. So you see the ratings in the ranges here. You see it. Okay. Tips for getting and keeping great credit. As you see here, uh, I've asked you to like and subscribe. Uh, your liking and subscribing are very, very important to the growth of our channel, and we appreciate all the uh, comments that you've done thus far, all the views that uh, have come from you guys, but it's very important and, and that uh, we will see your likes and your subscription. Tips for getting and keeping great profile. I want to read that again. Tips for getting and keeping great credit. Tips for keeping and getting great credit. Pay all your bills on time. This is number one. Keep your debt low. Don't get too far into debt. Maintain a good credit score. We just showed you the score ranges. Keep inquiries to a minimum. Don't go to the company's credit card companies and everybody having them all just jump into your uh, credit history and just, it just kind of messes things up a little bit. Have health and auto insurance. You would ask why these are important because uh, auto be able to purchase one of the major things and you always want to have your health in, in check. Check your credit score once a year. And this is so important. I don't know how many individuals does this, but it's very, very important that you keep a check on your uh, credit report because you never know there might be something on there that's maybe shouldn't be on there. So uh, as we uh, get ready to uh, uh, end this portion of our video, we want to again appreciate you for listening and just to kind of hold on a little bit. We're going to come back again uh, in the next few days with the next section of our video in which we're going to be part two. Again, we thank you. Uh, for subscribing. We thank you for listening. We thank you for your comments. And we hope that we're bringing value, which is our number one goal, to your home to help you to become better, financial, stable, so you can attain the best things in life, the things that you desire in life. And that's our goal. That's our passion. We find out again and, and that once an individual has a good financial situation it just brings harmony it it, 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 it uh, tempers emotions it does a lot of positive stuff and that's our goal that everyone has the best financial stable life that they can again this is Winfrey Crutcher we appreciate you and we thank you for liking and subscribing our video and on the next time until the next time thank you and have a great day may God bless